Number 5. Rise Tello – Best Budget Drone With its price and functions, the Rise Tello makes itself available for every user and for that reason I recommend this one to everybody, even if you're not interested in drones. This drone will grant you an immense amount of fun, quality, solid flight time, durability and ease of use. It establishes itself as a great fun little drone even for very skilled pilots. Let's take a closer look. I like testing drones by letting a beginner flyer try to fly the thing, and the Rise Tello show that it can get it all done without a doubt. A friend of mine that isn't interested in drones was impressed with this one and decided to pull the trigger on a Rise Tello. In the price range of this drone, you can't expect good flight time since it is pretty cheap and other examples have taught us this, but it can also record 720p HD footage at 30 frames per second. The same sensor is responsible for calculations about the flight height, providing you the exact parameters about the whole process. Other beginner-friendly features of the Rise Tello include the one-touch takeoff and landing, which make it a dream come true for novice pilots. Even if you fly the drone out of range or the battery runs out mid-flight, it'll land safely, making sure no damage happens to it. Number 4. DJI Mini 2 – Best for Beginners The original Mini was packed full of features and easy to operate. The DJI Fly app was introduced at the same time with a slick, pared-down and intuitive interface, but the drone also came with limitations that frustrated users, including spotty transmission and the ability to only capture JPEG files. The Mini 2 addresses these concerns and more. Users will pay slightly more for a drone with a higher quality camera that can record up to 4K 30p video, capture RAW plus JPEG files and features DJI's robust OcuSync 2.0 transmission technology instead of relying on Wi-Fi. The Mini 2 has a 1 over 2.3 inch CMOS sensor with a 12 megapixel camera, much like the original Mini and Mavic Pro. The camera has a 24mm equivalent fixed aperture f2.8 lens with an 83 degree FOV and an ISO range of 100 to 3200. What many buyers will appreciate this time around is the ability to capture raw images in addition to JPEG. Rounding off with solid battery life on a slightly windy day, we got around 30 minutes of flight time on a single charge when shooting at mixed 1080p and 4K resolution, and the Fly More Combo's three batteries combined for around 90 minutes in the air. With its 4K video capture, improved controller, boosted range and ramped up wind resistance, the DJI Mini 2 is the best lightweight drone around. Number 3. DJI Mavic Air 2 – Best for Most People Coming up next on our list is the DJI Mavic Air 2, which is a great mid to high range drone that's a perfect pick for beginners that can afford a bit more. The DJI Mavic Air 2 is a bit larger than its predecessor, which was already excellent, measuring about 3.3 by 3.8 by 7.1 inches in total, and it weighs about 1.3 pounds. This is not a problem though, as it fits into all camera bags without any problem. Of course, those dimensions are increased when you extend their arms for flying the drone, but it has a pretty small profile. If you want a bit more functionality from the device, you should opt for the Fly More kit that adds a bag, two spare batteries, neutral density filters, and a charger kit for all your batteries. Another feature for experienced flyers was the AirSense transponder that alerts you about manned aircraft near your drone so you won't interfere with anyone. The remote control in the package is a very cool one with basic functions and intuitive features that allow you to connect it to your smartphone with its clips. The DJI Fly Companion app is also very intuitive and tells you all the metrics you need to know and allows you to capture some beautiful images or videos with its 48 megapixel sensor. The video is rather smooth in 4K 60fps, combined with its sharp lens, gimbal stabilization and 120 Mbps compression rate. Number 2. DJI Phantom 4 Pro V2.0 – Best Runner-Up This DJI Phantom 4 Pro V2.0 review looks at the outstanding features, specifications and frequently asked questions on this top drone for aerial cinematography. The Phantom 4 Pro V2 is a tremendous feat of engineering, elegant design and innovation. The features and specifications are an improvement on the existing Phantom 4 Pro with an OcuSync 2.0 transmission system, improved ESCs or electronic speed controllers, and low noise propellers. This Phantom 4 Pro V2 was designed to improve on the earlier Phantom 4 models. This one has high specifications that allow for the creation of professional aerial photography and film. For photographers and videographers, the Phantom 4 Pro V2's performance certainly doesn't disappoint. The camera features a 20 megapixel 1 inch sensor, capable of shooting impressive raw stills and 4K or 60p video at 100 Mbps video in the D-Log color profile. 
the main issue with the Phantom 4 Pro V2.0, and one that's going to be a deal-breaker for some, is the sheer size and weight of the aircraft. At 1,375 grams with the battery and propellers installed, plus the 904 gram controller and 468 gram for each additional battery, carrying everything can be cumbersome. The Phantom 4 Pro V2 is capable of capturing 4K at 60fps video at 100mbps in the D-Log color profile, which is ideal for professional aerial videographers. A 20 megapixel 1-inch sensor capable of shooting RAW files in DNG format provides photographers with higher image quality than smaller sensors and a huge amount of control when processing images. Number 1. DJI Mavic 2 Pro – Best Overall the DJI Mavic 2 Pro is the best small drone on the market, with superior image and video quality, obstacle avoidance and excellent battery life. Its 20 megapixel 1-inch sensor is capable of shooting excellent RAW stills and 4K video, while a host of automated shooting and flight modes complement its highly portable form factor. It's expensive and can't shoot 4K video at 60fps, but those are the only real black marks on what is our favourite flying camera. The Mavic 2 Pro takes its design cues from the original Mavic Pro, but it is a little bigger all round. It measures 3.3 by 3.6 by 8.4 inches folded and 3.3 by 9.5 by 12.7 inches with its arms extended. Unfolding the drone is pretty easy, you just have to remember to swing the front arms out before the bottom ones. Flying the DJI Mavic 2 Pro really couldn't be simpler. The Mavic 2 Pro's image quality is very good overall, as long as you don't expect quite the same level as you'd get with a DSLR or mirrorless camera. Most drones feature a sensor that's similar to that of a mobile phone, but thanks to a 20 megapixel 1 inch Hasselblad sensor, the Mavic 2 Pro sensor is much closer to a premium compact in terms of size and overall image quality. The DJI Mavic 2 Pro is the best drone on the market, with superior image and video quality, obstacle avoidance, and excellent battery life. Flying Guide Flight Time This parameter is used to decide the average flying time of your drone with single charge. It's good to plan for a powerful battery backup if you need to use your drone for photography purposes. Few drones come with rechargeable batteries, whereas others also offer replacement options so that users can use spare batteries for emergency hours. Most of these drones can take almost 45 to 90 minutes to full charge, and the minimum flight time is observed to be 10 to 12 minutes. Budget one of the major factors playing a role behind your drone selection is your planned budget. You can prefer to go for higher-end collections or being a beginner can pick the basic one. Note that most of people can find difficulties to fly a cheap drone collection, but expensive drones show impressive results in flight due to their advanced sensor units and powerful propellers. Few websites also provide discounts when you buy drones with additional accessories, so you can plan your purchase accordingly. Sensor Cheap drones don't have sensors or may have very few embedded on them, but if you buy an expensive unit, then it will accommodate so many advanced sensors on board. Some of the most popularly used sensor types are GPS and temperature sensors. The GPS-enabled units are able to move via specific locations as fixed in their programming controls. It's possible to adjust the longitude and latitude values of a device so it can travel in a preset direction over.